Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to uh, run SSD Lite with the mobile net version 2 uh, trained on Coco that is set in Raspberry Pi 3B+. So uh, this is a Python code with OpenCV. Uh, we are not using any other uh, framework. The SSD version is trained through TensorFlow but we are using a pre-trained model so we are running cv2.dnn so basically the version that I am currently using for the open CV is 4.0 so I had installed this open CV 4.0 version on Raspbian Buster on Raspberry Pi 3B plus so let's run this code and see how it works I had uh, used a 320 by 240 frame size uh, this is because uh, the trained SSD works on uh, 300 by 300 uh, image so we converted this image to 300 by 300 uh, that's why we used a uh, less or smaller frame size the frame rate is kind of slow here as you can see it is not as robust as you may think it is the time it is consuming is almost half second to process single frame Although it can detect up to 80 objects real time and here is a complete list of classes that it can detect. It can detect a person, a bicycle, aeroplane, traffic light, zebra, deer, bird and uh, suitcase as well as all different kind of uh, classes so let's come to the code we had first of all loaded over tensorflow module uh, although there are pre converted modules for um, tensorflow on opencv github page but i had uh, converted this SSD Lite mobile net version uh, especially for uh, Raspberry Pi you can convert uh, this module by yourself the link I will give in the description so don't forget to check the description after loading the pre-trained module from tensorflow remember I had not installed TensorFlow on the Raspberry Pi and you do not need to install TensorFlow on Raspberry Pi if you are using a pre-trained model like I am using in this video. So after loading I had initialized my uh, webcam uh, which is attached to the USB port and I provide uh, change the frame rate to 320 uh, change the frame size to 320 by 240 after that I created a cocoa labels for all the classes uh, you may be looking the numbers goes from 0 to 90 but in between some numbers are not present like 11 12 is not there this is because uh, at first cocoa data set was uh, assumed to contain more than 90 classes but at the time of release they omitted some uh, classes so we left with only 80 classes so here I created a function which will get class ID and this uh, <coughs> key value pair kind of dictionary data set and it iterate over all the items and if it found the 
provided key, it will return the value for respective key. So this is just to uh, get what uh, class name we detected. After that, I created a continuous while loop and in that while loop, I created a try catch block and I grabbed a single frame. I get the height and width of the shape, uh, shape of that image and then I take a timestamp to calculate the overall time and uh, after that this model which I had initialized in line number 5 right here I provide this model uh, input image before providing the direct image I need to convert blob from image and uh, in that function I provided the image and size 300 by 300 because our model is trained on the Cocoa data set which ex expect the input image to be 300 by 300 and swap RB uh, is true that is because OpenCV used the BGR image format uh, but over uh, TensorFlow and uh, the original image except RGB format. So that's the reason for swapping the uh, RB color space. After that, we pass this, uh, we, a forward pass, we create, uh, we step over a forward pass, it, it will uh, I create the image and pass to the CNN, um, which is a, a SST Lite mobile net version 2 and uh, uh, the neural network and uh, I'll provide an output of the detection. We I create through all the uh, uh, output variable and uh, we check the confidence level and if the confidence level is greater than 0.7 uh, then we uh, take the ID from the detected version and uh, from that ID we get the class label and after that to uh, draw a bounding box we multiply the x y w and h with the original image with height and with height uh, remember the detection is done on 300 by 300 but our image is actually 320 by 240 size so we need to convert our bounding boxes into the right dimension of our original image after that we simply use cv2 dot rectangle function to draw our uh, green rectangle with the thickness of 5 and we put a text of the class name onto that x and y and we slightly uh, 20 pixel shifted down the y axis and uh, for font we use the simplex font and after that we display that modified image with the uh, drawn bounding box and the label and we wait for a key press if we if user press a Q we break the while loop and we release the cap and uh, the camera and or destroy all the windows available on the this frame so that's all for running the SSD light on uh, with mobile net and trained on the coco data set so don't forget to check the detailed link for the complete code in the description and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much